Kurgis, January 12, 1901 to May 22, 1979, was a famous ballet dancer and choreographer mixing classical ballet with theater. He is also widely regarded as the founder of Tanz Theater. Jules is noted for establishing several dance companies, including most notably, the Folkwang Tanz Theater, in Essen. Jules was born in Wasser Ralfingen, Germany. From an early age he was interested in singing, drama and visual arts, he also played the piano and was a keen photographer. He began his career in the 1920s and from 1920 to 1924 studied under and danced lead roles in the choreography of Rudolf von Leben, who was a trained visual artist and developer of dance theory, and the movement named Ostruckstanz. Jus used narratives and modern theater styles to make performable works of dance theater, further developing the work of Leben in his system of notation. Within a year of leaving Leben, Jus took the opportunity to establish his own dance company called Dainui Tanzpein. It was here Jus met Fritz Cohen, the Jewish composer who worked with Jus on many of his famous pieces. Jus and Cohen shared the belief that choreography and musical composition should evolve together to give expression of the dramatic idea in unified style and form. In 1925, Jus and Sigurd later joined a group of artists and opened a new dance school called Westfalish Academy for Bugung, Sprash Uendi Music. Jus and Leder went to Paris in 1926 to study classical ballet with Russian ballerina Lubavagarova. In 1927 Jus and Leder's work Dance of Death was criticized for being too avant-garde, this resulted in the theater of Munster changing personnel and programs. Because of this, many of Jus's colleagues left. The same year Jus moved to the Westfalish Academy to Essen, and it became the Folk One Schul. Jus disliked plotless dances and preferred themes that addressed moral issues. Naturalistic movement, large-scale unison, and characterization were used by Jus to address political concerns of the time. His most important choreographic work, The Green Table, 1932, had won first prize at an international competition for new choreography held by the Archives Internationales de la Danse in Paris in 1932. It was a strong anti-war statement, and was made a year before Adolf Hitler became the Chancellor of Germany. The Green Table is considered his most popular piece. In 1933 Jules was forced to flee Germany when the Nazis asked him to dismiss the Jews from his company and he refused. Jules and Leder, and doubtless Fritz Cohen and other members of his original company, took refuge in the Netherlands before resettling in England. After touring in Europe and America, Jules and Leder opened a school at Dartington Hall in Devon. A piece he choreographed at this time was a light-hearted one, in comparison to the Green Table, named Ball in Old Vienna, 1932. In 1934, whilst in England Jules added new works to his repertoire, including Pandora, 1944, contained disturbing images of human disaster and tragedy, which was later interpreted by some as foretelling the dropping of the atom bombs on Japan a year later. With his company, the Jules Ballet went on world tours until his company disintegrated in 1947. Jules left England in 1949 to return to Essen, Germany. Jules continued to teach and choreograph for 19 years. One of his students from this period was the choreographer Peter Bosch. He retired in 1968 and died in Heilbronn, West Germany, 11 years later, aged 78, from injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Kurt Jules' works are still performed today, especially The Green Table. Anna Markard, Chuck's daughter, supervised companies that perform his works until her death, conserving authenticity of the author of dance theater.